So today I am going to be doing my one year anniversary filming. Um, well, the remainder of it, I've been kind of doing bits and pieces, but um, I wanted to put a little makeup on my face. So I'm going to film that. And if it's viable content, you are watching now. Uh, so <clears throat> I've already put some moisturizer on my face. I should probably clip these bangs away because they are going to drive me bananas. I'm gonna put a little primer on my face. Okay, we have our primer all over. <clears throat> so while that settles in a little bit, I'm going to do my brows. I was really liking this uh, Maybelline Brow Precise. They came out with a light, bra uh, light blonde color. I like the darker one as well. I'll put those side by side. But um, I kind of like having, if I want to do like a really nice brow look, a couple colors to make it look more natural. I wish I knew the name of the darker color. I want to say it's called like just blonde or taupe or something like that. It doesn't seem to have color listed on it, which is silly. Let's do some brows. And then I'm going to go in with the darker color. And I actually learned a, a new technique where you take your, your brow pencil and you just scroll it up just a little bit or wind it up a little bit just to have the tip popping out and then rub it on the back of your hand or on a piece of paper or something so that when you um, extend the product further you have this sharper edge and it's supposed to allow you to get more precise brow hair so I'm going to try that right now Well, maybe this just isn't the right product for that trick, but I'm not really sure how much that tip helped. We've given the primer a chance to settle in. I'm gonna take my makeup sponge and we're gonna apply a little foundation. I'm gonna apply a little liquid concealer. I've got these veins are popping out today for whatever reason. A lot of coverage to the chin. And in this area. And I need just a touch more help on that little zit that I have right there that decided to come up uninvited. Let's apply a little powder. I'm going to take, I'm going to be using this palette again. I think I'm going to do the purples because I'm feeling purples today. Take the lightest purple, put that on my lid. Let's take a combination of the two middle colors. All right, I'm gonna take my blending brush. I'm gonna get this hair out of the way. I'm gonna blend some more. Okay. Blending forever. I'm gonna take 
this highlight contour palette and I'm going to use this gold color over here. I'm going to take the gold color called Impulse. I'm going to just put that on the inner corner. Let's take a little eyeliner. I'm going to try and do eyeliner. I'm going to try and get... I'm going to try and get a better shot of this than I've gotten in the past. Well, that's the best we're going to get, but at least I kind of showed you my technique, which for lack of a better way to call it, I kind of stamp the shape on, like I stamp the tail and then I stamp along and then, then I'll swipe to try and connect it together. I don't know why that works so much better for me, but that is how I do it. Uh, if that helps you, great. So let's do blush. I'm going to do, do these have names? I don't think these have names. Uh, this upper right hand one from the Pac-Man palette. I was gonna keep the lipstick situation pretty simple. I don't know the name of this color because it's in Japanese. But this is the brand. This is probably too old to be using anymore, but I'm gonna I am a rule breaker. It's gonna get me in trouble one day, but. Mm. Now this is um, a more sheer color. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? I need the light over here. I'm trying this new lighting situation. And here, hopefully you can see. It's more of a sheer color if you were wondering let's do a little setting spray and then we can do our mascara half the reason that I was filming this besides the fact that I need to put on makeup need to put on makeup is uh, I got some new new to me lashes uh, from KISS, look so natural, natural effect. There is a new glue from Duo Lash. And this one, it comes with both colors, clear and dark tone. I usually prefer the clear tone. Um, so I really don't care that it comes with the dark tone. But the thing that caught my eye is this, um, says it's latex free. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. And I've never had a problem with the original formulation of the duo glue, but I do have a latex allergy and I really shouldn't be using the duo glue or at least the original one because it does have latex in it. So I want to try this latex free formulation. Let's take this out of the box. The clear side, the clear side starts off white or whitish and then dries clear. And the dark side, I'm assuming the dark side, that's the product that you're seeing in there. Um, uh, the brush from the dark side and the brush from the clear side. All right, so I also kind of like this brush application idea. Let's us go to these lashes. I hope I like these because I got the five pack. <laughs> so when I get new lashes, I like to take them dry or without any glue on them. And I just like to do a test fit to my eye. And just kind of lay them on top of my regular lashes. So they're not glue drying right now, they're moving around, but I can kind of get an idea for if I need to trim the band. The l length of this band is, uh, 
you know, going to go along the length of my eye. And if my eye is smaller than the band, well, you might have a problem if you just glue it right on there. <clears throat> uh, so it looks like, and my eyes are different sizes. A lot of people's eyes are different sizes. So it's good to test both bands. I'm not going to trim these, but if you ever have a band that needs trimming, trim from, it's normally recommended. You trim from the outside or the side with the longer lashes. Uh, if you trim from the inside, you're going to get rid of these smaller lashes in the middle that can help taper it in and make it look a little more natural. And if that's what you want, do what you want. But uh, just thought I would share that tip. Less talking, more gluing. Uh, so we have our new glue. We're going to, uh, you can't see what I'm doing. So we're going to, I hope you can see this. I hope this focuses. Take the, the brush with the new glue. Swipe that on here. And then I like to allow this usually like 15 seconds to get tacky. Um, this actually recommends 30 seconds to get tacky. So good thing I read the uh, box because I feel like, oh no, even original duo glue says 30 seconds. I guess I was just always doing it wrong. So I'll wait about 30 seconds, probably more like 20 seconds at this point. Um, and then we'll stick them right on. Um, allowing it to get tacky means when you plop it on, it'll be a little bit sticky and so it'll stick where you want it and it will then finish drying on your eye and you don't have to wait 5,000 years for it to finish drying. It's not sliding around while you're blinking and, and all that kind of thing. So uh, yeah. Oh, another thing you can do. Uh, my eyes I feel like are really maybe rounded compared to some people. So sometimes I will, I, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I will arch. <laughs> The uh, band, while it's drying, kind of helps shape it into a more curved shape. I feel like newer lashes are getting better about having some curve to them. Maybe it was older lashes that, uh, I don't know, they would just want to pop off my eyeball because they weren't curved at all. So kind of training that band to curve a little bit is a good idea. So it's probably been 30 seconds, so let's pop this on here so that's one eyelash done I'm gonna take an eyelash curler I'm gonna curl a little bit false eyelashes are plenty curled already as it is but the reason I like to do this is to try and help meld my natural lashes with the fake ones. We have our lashes in place. We have the lashes curled in with them. Let's apply a little mascara. All right, so that's the finished look. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something or got something out of this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, comment, all those things help me out. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. If you like this haircut, I will share her channel in the description below. Uh, she just started a channel, so she, she's only got a handful of um, subscribers, last I looked, but I'm sure she'd love to see you over there. Uh, she does plan to put up a whole bunch of stuff regarding uh, hair care and wig care, so if any of that would interest you, I'm looking at you, my cosplayer peoples, but really anybody, if you have hair or if you have wigs, she would be a helpful person to go follow, so I'm going to put that in the description below. And, uh, yeah, go check her out. Thanks.